All right, question number three. Um, find the maximum rate of change of f of x, y at the given point and the direction in which it occurs, okay? So this is a multivariable question and it's asking us to find the, uh, the slope uh, at a given point at these um, functions, I guess you can say, and at these given points. Um, so it's asking us for the maximum rate of change and a known fact, uh, so let me say, let me first define what uh, we're trying to solve for here. So we are looking for the gradient of f of x, y, okay? And the gradient of f of x, y can be ascribed as a vector uh, valued function of the partial derivatives of f of x, y. Okay, so the partial derivative of this and the partial derivative of this. So this is for a two variable function, uh, but in general, right? If we were right out, right out the general formula for it, let's say there's x, y, z, dot, 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 it would be um, the val factor value function of all the partial derivatives of the, of the function, okay? So we can keep going here, all right? So that's the gradient, okay? So what they're asking for uh, is to us to find the gradient, plug in the points, and it is a known fact that the maximum rate of change occurs when the uh, when the at the magnitude of the gradient, right? So the magnitude of the gradient can be uh, seen as um, this equation here. Okay, sorry that it's a little bit small, but it's basically the square root of the partial derivatives at x of y for each uh, partial derivative squared, and that's your that's your magnitude, okay? So the maximum rate of change at f of x, y at a given point will be the magnitude of that gradient at that given point, okay? So uh, the question here gives us two functions, so I'll be working through both of them today. Uh, so let's work through the first one too, first, okay? All right, um, so one. So our function is f of x, y equals 4y times root x at the given point 4 and 9, okay? So first of all, we're going to need to find our gradients, right? So the gradients of f of x, y is the partial derivative at x uh, and the partial derivative of f of x, y at y, okay? So if we were to look at our function here, so the partial derivative of x of our function would be um, 2y x to the power of negative 2. Uh, let me just check to make sure that's correct here. Yep, so 2y to the power x times x to the power of negative 1 over half. And our partial derivative of y would be um, four times root x, okay? So these are our partial derivatives, all right? So now we're gonna calculate the gradient at our given point four nine, okay? So the gradient at four nine, what would that be? That would be two times nine, that's 18, time, times uh, divided by four, which is rooted, so that's nine. Okay, uh, and um, this, the y value would be eight because it's four times root of four. Root of four is two, so four times two is eight. Okay, so this is our gradient at four, nine, nine and eight. Okay, so now we need to find the maximum rate of change and we know the maximum rate of change is just the magnitude of the gradient of, of four, nine. Okay, so the gradient of f of 4, 9 is the square root of 9 squared plus 8 squared, okay? And that equals to 81 plus 64, which is 145, root 145. And finally, it's asking us for the direction, okay? So the direction of our maximum rate of change will occur in the very direction that we calculated um, 
in the very direction of the of the uh, gradient itself. Okay, so in this case, all we need to really do is calculate the unit vector of the gradient of four nine, and divide it by its magnitude to find its uh, uh, direction. Okay, so its direction would be um, the the unit vector. So let's say u, which equals to a gradient of f at 4, 9 divided by the magnitude of f at 4, 9. Okay. And that equals to um, 9 divided by root 145 and 8 divided by root 145, which in the end, that just equals 9 times root 145 over 145 and 8 times 140, 145 divided by 145. Okay, so this is the unit vector and this is the direction of our maximum rate of change. Okay, cool. So let's move on to problem number two. Hopefully I can do it over here. Let's, uh, let's try to do it over here. <laughs> okay, uh, so our function, our function here is, so this is a three variable function, x, y, and z, and it's a uh, root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared at nine, seven, and negative t. All right, so first of all, you need to calculate our gradient. All right, so gradient of f, x, y, z is the partial derivatives of x, y, and z in that order, okay? So the partial derivative of x would be um, 2x divided by um, x squared plus y squared plus z squared negative half. Maybe I can scroll a little bit more over here. Okay. Um, our, our partial derivative of y would be 2y. So this is chain rule, right? So we're going to do the outside function, which is just um, half. Oh, wait, so this should be a x, actually. Hold on, sorry. I'll just do it for you guys here. Um, so we're doing a chain rule, right? So it's the outside function, which is the square root first, and then it's the inside function, which is just x squared. Everything else is constant in a, in a partial derivative, okay? Um, so um, this should be a y over x squared plus y squared plus z squared negative half, and we have z of Sorry for my really tiny writing. Uh, y squared plus z squared half. Okay, so this is our partial derivative of this function. Uh, okay, so now we're going to, to um, plug in 9, 7, and negative 2. Okay, so bear with me, guys. So 9, 7, and negative 2. So the first one's going to be 9 divided by 81 plus uh, 49 plus 4, which is 81 plus 49. That's 130, 134, the square root of 134. All right, 7 over the square root of 134 and negative 2 divided by the square root of 134. Okay, so um, this is the gradient at this x, y, and z. All right, and now we're going to need to calculate the magnitude, okay? So the magnitude of this equals um, 
square root of nine divided by, or sorry, nine divided by the square root of 134 plus seven divided by the square root of 134 squared two plus negative two divided by 134 square root squared. Okay, so this would equal to, let me make my bracket bigger, uh, 81 divided by 134 plus 49 divided by 134 plus 4 divided by 134. Cool. Uh, we're going to add these fractions up. 81 plus 49 is 130 plus 4 is 134. So all we get in the end is square root of 1, which equals 1. Okay, cool. So we calculated the gradient. Okay. And now all we need to do is calculate a unit vector, which is just this. So let me say unit vector v. Whoops. Uh, so unit vector v would be the gradient of 9, 7, and negative 2 divided by the magnitude of the gradient of 9, 7, and negative 2. Okay? So that would equal uh, this divided by 1, which just equal this. Okay, cool. Uh, so the junior tutor solution is almost there, I would say. Um, actually, I think they got it right. That point equals two, and they divide by two. Okay, so incidentally, they got it right. Um, but when they were uh, doing the partial derivatives, they forgot to factor in a one over two. Because when you're doing your chain rule for this, right, you're, you need to be conscious about the fact that you're taking 1 over 2 and then minus 1. So the exponent here would be negative 1 and a half, but you also have to make sure that you take out the exponent before. And they didn't do that. So they actually added an extra 2 here. But in the end, they still got the right answer. So the solution to part 1 is correct. However, the solution to part two is almost technically uh, is uh, is almost correct. Excuse me. When you forgot to account for a factor one half when you partially derived f of x, y, and z. Okay, so unfortunately this solution is, there's a little hiccup here, uh, so the solution is actually incorrect. Okay, cool.